Uh, I'll kick us off. Uh, my name is Teranga Tira Waitokia. My position is wing centre and I'm from New Zealand and Wangane. Uh, my name is Matt Heaton. I'm a open side flanker and my hometown is Godmanchester, Quebec, uh, Canada. I'm Tian Strauss Erasmus. Um, my position is hooker and I'm from Pretoria, South Africa. Hey, my name is Vikas Grunewald, uh, or just known as Vic. I play tight head prop, so I'm number three, and I'm from a little town called Somerset West. Hmm. Um, well, I think for me, one of the big things that I enjoyed about home was the mountains. Um, Atlanta has a few, you know, hills and hikes and stuff, which are very, very <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, the, the Cape Mountains have definitely been really good. Um, what I'm about home is my family, my friends, um, being, not be able to go home for five years is a bit tough, so you miss weddings, you miss basically birthdays, everything. So yeah, that's what I miss is my family, my friends. Uh, what I miss about home, uh, and I'm from a small farming community in, in rural southern Quebec, I miss having no traffic. It was really, it was, it was really not. I mean, Canada's big. You got to drive everywhere, but uh, there's there's no traffic because there's nobody out there. Yeah, mine's all very similar to Heats. I'm from a small town, and it's very, it's a lot more peaceful and a lot easier to get around. Um, probably takes about max maybe five minutes <laughs> to get everywhere. Um, and where I'm from, obviously, it's a beautiful place. We have the river flowing through the city. Um, we obviously have a beach there and friends and family um, close by. So that's probably the number one thing I miss, but I also miss the coffees from back home. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it. I'm sick of the cold. So. <laughs> you come from the swamp. Yeah. 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 I, mean, uh, I, I mean, you know, for me personally, I was, I've been here since the, the start of Rugby ATL and uh, when I was looking at which, which city to play in the MOR, uh, ATL kind of was on my radar right off the bat. It was something that was, you know, I, I thought would be out of my comfort zone. I didn't know anybody coming here, so it was kind of like, uh, you know, this is going to be a unique experience for me. It's, it's, you know, completely out of my comfort zone. Um, and then, yeah, I came and just was blown away with, with how welcoming the city was, um, you know, how passionate all the rugby fans are here, how friendly everyone is and, and how, you know, that Southern hospitality is a real thing. Um, you know, and I've been here ever since and you know, met a girl, fell in love and now Atlanta is home. So. Especially the food in the South, like it's, it's nice to eat here in the South, like in Texas, it's I eat, yeah. but <laughs> the Southern food is just a bit like the mac and cheese. That's probably why I get. It's like I get, family, yeah. home cooked meals. So. Yeah, home cooked meals is the, my favorite, so. I mean, yeah, I think everybody's got their own little, uh, little like local spots they like to uh, like to frequent. I mean, we're, we're big fans of the Beltline. It's just it's such a great you know, way to connect you through so many different things um, in kind of that heart of the city. Um, we, we, I was at an event recently at Pont City Market, and it just it blows me away every time. I'm like, oh, this is such a unique, like really, really like special spot that you know is easy to kind of come to and, and, and enjoy. Again, just I, I feel like that vibrant you know, mixture of culture in the city. You've got you know a bit of art, you've got some architecture, you've got food cuisine. You know everybody's you know really friendly, and you know, it's just you're connected to, to all sorts of things in there. I don't know, that's me. Mine is putt check. Uh, I'm not that good in golf, <laughs> so my short game is okay. But yeah, it's a nice spot to hang out and just have a beer with your friends, and that's about it. When we do go into the city, it's usually the belt line. Brilliant. Very, very nice to have, mm -hmm. like you were saying, yeah. the diversity of things available yeah. too, and have so many people there at the same time. So there's always a bit of a conversation to have if you want, or you know, hang out. Mm -hmm. So always, uh, when family visits, I always try to bring them to the botanical garden. I think it's a, you know, I grew up in the countryside, so I like to see you know all these flowers, and, and that's part of like my mom's hobby and my sister. So when family comes to visit, we always go to Piedmont, go to botanical garden, kind of show them around, show them some of the vibrant greenery in the city and um, yeah, it's just again, you're just a nice little community in that area. So. And Tian's favorite spot? 
Lasseters? Lasseters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My, well, also, my favorite. <laughs> the battery. <laughs> the battery or World of Coke. Uh, I love my, my sodies. <laughs> yes, so that's my favorite spot as well because there's different variety of sodas and I'm the big soda. That's me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and that's, that's one thing that... I mean, Atlanta is a really big city, hmm. like from, from where I grew up from and, and where I've, I've traveled throughout the world, you know, I recognize Atlanta is a really big city. And that's one of the beauties of it is you can never run out of things to do. Like there's always, you know, a different area. Um, I was just you know, speaking to someone about an event that I'm going to in, uh, on Saturday and, and they said like, oh, have you ever been to that area? There's so many other little like bars, restaurants, coffee shops in there. And I was like, well, you know, it, it never ends. If you are willing to explore, like the city has something to offer. So. You can basically go to a different place every day. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. If you it, really it never ends, ends yeah. yeah. Well, it, uh, it's funny because I'm a product of immigrants. So my grandparents immigrated to Canada and you know, here I am, you know, now doing the same thing in the United States, um, specifically Atlanta. So. I mean, it, it hits pretty close to home for me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud to come from another country and I'm proud to bring, you know, the, the cultural, um, you know, kind of outlook that I have growing up in a, a foreign place uh, here with me to Atlanta. And, and you know, I, I kind of, I love it. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be here and I'm proud to be, you know, from somewhere else. And just on his point, like, it's nice to bring in diversity of culture and, another country to see how you function with how you make your food and stuff like that like it sounds like i'm from the south because of my southern twang but, <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, i'm from so i'm my i started speaking english when i came to america so that's why i sound like the way i sound but i embrace every day of it yeah yeah for me i mean i'm not only an immigrant my wife actually came to america when she was 12 as and now our daughter has an American festival. So, you know, it's it's pretty pretty cool for me. Um, really hits home. It's it's important, I think, to reflect on, you know, like we all saying, is this opportunity that we've been coming to enjoy and to have, and, you know, the opportunities that it brings. I think that's something that immigrants have always had in this country. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just important to remember that, you know, the American dream, if you can work, Hard and you can make something of yourself. So, still alive. You just gotta go out and get it. So. Yeah, I think it's real cool. Um, and I think coming into obviously this team with a lot of different cultures it's really opened my eyes up to how pretty much you, how everyone kind of does everything. You know, and they have been around boys. And so I lived with heaps in my first year. Two Canadians. That was cool to experience you know, how they kind of go through things uh, with their daily living through sports um, and then obviously we've got a lot of South Africans and just how they kind of do things so I think it's really opened my eyes up and uh, kind of word it. I think it just opened my eyes up to see how everyone kind of does things differently or whether they yeah, do yeah. things the same yeah right um, because obviously being from back home New Zealand everyone's real chilled and mellow real mellow um, people and then you know, you come here and then some of my real good American friends are real. They have to do things like buy a certain task and then um, obviously South Africans with the way they love their fries and barbecues, like I think it's just awesome. You literally go down yeah. to the barbecue and you just hand They're them your meat there you go and it's going to be <laughs> something you'd get from a five-star restaurant, you know what I'm saying? So um, <laughs> nah, that's cool. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it and really appreciate it, well, especially from Rugby ATL. Just how everyone gets along, so that's cool. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. quite important. I think we're all alluding to the same thing, but you know, enjoying our heritage and being proud of it, but also seeing it in other people. Yeah. And, and you know, enjoying it with them. I mean, yeah, sure. We know it. we love our bride. Mm -hmm. but yeah. The way T just said it really made me feel, you know, proud, like, proud nice of your bride. Yeah. 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 So I think yeah, it's important to remember that part of it too. You know, I mean, I'm South African. I wear my fellas and I've brought stuff like that. So happy immigrant heritage. Not 